Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss some hidden secrets of successful prop traders based on data and statistics you might not have heard about before. From a recent study by Funded Next, a major prop firm, data researchers analyzed over 17,000 prop traders and looked at top 5% successful traders, whether they were scalpers, day traders, swing traders, and so on and concluded that trading is not easy and of course many people fail prop trading challenges and they published these results in an ebook and interestingly they identified nine patterns that are the common traits amongst the consistent traders so before we delve into these nine patterns it worth noting that many of our instructors and students have ace pop firm challenges while also growing their personal accounts and this success validates the importance of these principles discussed by Funded Next in their ebooks. And interestingly, we have independently found them through two decades of trading. And our entire training system is in fact built upon these principles to prepare traders and turn novice traders to the professionals. So let's look at these nine traits that make prop traders profitable. So we're going to go through each of these one by one. The first one is maximum losing trades versus average winning trades. So the maximum loss, as you know, is the highest amount of loss you had with a single position. And this study showed that less than 7% of the traders can keep their maximum loss versus average win ratio below 0.5. So this is very important point and it's one of the first lessons in our trading system as we discussed the stop loss and money management. And if we look at the five possible outcome of each trade, of course these are favorable, but the one that we train students to know its limit and accept it in advance is a stop loss, which is defined as a small loss. And the trader's journal should not show any big loss, which is not acceptable. Because it affects the profitability of the trading system and its profit factor and expectancy that we're going to discuss in the next few slides, so if you go to our daily trade journals published on our website or YouTube, you will see that every trade that we take has a well-defined stop loss based on the setup and you will never see a big loss in our trading records because it damaged the expectancy or profit factor of our system. And that's the second topic we're going to discuss now. And a profitable trading system should have a profit factor more than one preferentially more than one and a half or two to cover the trading costs and expenses. And this interesting study showed that as profit factor increase, the percent payouts increase significantly. And because of the importance of this profit factor, we have provided a free calculator that if you include your win rate and average win to loss ratio, it automatically calculates your expectancy and profit factor. So if you go to our funded trader section of our website or YouTube, you will see the reports such as this with one up trader that I had profit factor of 3.8 from many trades taken within 15 days of trades. And this one is from the Apex Trader funding accounts that I passed many challenges and it shows profit factor of 4.11. So the third pattern that was identified was the win duration versus loss duration. They found that the payout percentage increased significantly as this ratio increased. So this report indicated that top 7% traders are holding their winning trades more than twice as long as their losing trades. And this is interesting point and the main reason we focus on setup T as a trend following and we recommend novice traders to take that because when you're following a trend, you automatically have a higher winning trades and runners you hold these trades much longer and therefore by following the setup T you not only have higher win rate but also better win to loss ratio. The fourth pattern was identified as quality over quantity and that means the profitable traders don't trade to get the kick, they just trade to get the profit and the fact is the more trades you execute within a certain period of time the less profitable you become. And this table shows number of trades taken in one cycle or session of trading. And this table clearly shows that traders that executed three to five trades in one cycle of trading, they had by far the highest average payouts around 34%.
and to focus on quality over quantity, we categorize all trades based on the alignments of the three macro, structural, and trading charts, which builds our trendline trading system of price action algo trading. So you can see that we have 27 possibilities, but only six of them are considered as medium to very low risk, and two of them, in fact, are suitable for novice traders to focus and be patient to take them when all three charts are aligned together and provide good quality trades and they have to really filter these low quality trades and not take them because they often lead to losses. And the fifth fact was to follow the trend and they mentioned when you're following the higher time frame bias, you are following the trend. If you align your bias according to the market structure, your person will increase and their data showed clearly when the top traders followed the higher time frame bias, they had much more payouts. So the top five to six percent of traders get 90 to 100 percent of their profits from selective bias. And that's the reason we design setup key strategy and look at the macro structural and trading charts and make sure these long trades taken are aligned with the higher time frame bias which is also in uptrend here and that provides the very low risk scenario and that's exactly what the data from this prop firm suggested. The sixth fact was to focus on limited pairs to trade and they found that successful prop traders are focusing on some very specific instruments and this table shows that the traders who only traded one instrument versus multiple had much more probability that shows 43% of the pals belong to people who mastered trading one instrument. Therefore, they had a probability of having 52 times more pals than those people who traded multiple symbols from different groups. And that is exactly what we found over time. And we guided students how to select single instrument based on their dollar loss tolerance, point value basis of the selected instrument, and instrument average range at the trading time that is suitable for the lifestyle of the trader. And during the coaching session, we make sure that one single instrument was selected for the traders based on all these personal factors which are specific to that trader. The seventh pattern was identified as profitable traders only trade on profitable days and those who traded only on one specific trading days, they had 45% payouts versus those that trade every day of the week, four to five times of the trading days. So a person who trades one specific trading day has likelihood of 13 times more payouts than the traders who trade four to five days in a week. And that's the exercise we give to students based on macro chart structure. And this is the macro chart reading and filter that we apply before looking at our trading charts to decide if the day is suitable to trade or not. And this is specifically defined in our pre-trading session checklist. The trader should come back to check if this checklist is passed and market condition is suitable for trading. So let's go to the eighth pattern that was the win percentage. And we know its definition is total winning trades over the total number of trades. And the interesting fact was that the traders based on this data had a win rate of over 80 and 90. They had much more payouts, 26 to 39%. So the conclusion was that more than 66% of payout disbursement was made to the traders with a winning percentage over 80%. And that is exactly why we promote setup T for the novice traders, which is a trend following setup and has a high win rate ranging from 70 to 90%. And another important fact that we teach in advanced money management is that when your win rate is about 80%, your max consecutive loss is only about two from 50 trades. And this is important for managing the drawdown when you're taking the prop firm challenges because they have often rigorous rules that they don't allow more than three to 5% drawdown. So by having very high win rate that you see when I passed the one up trader challenge was 83%. You don't allow to have much consecutive loss and drawdown and your equity curves grow smoothly, which is one important fact to pass the prop firms and have a payout.
So this is another statistics from Apex Trader funding accounts. And I had in this specific challenge about 76% win rate. The last pattern that was identified was a stress-free trading environment. And one of the major factors was the way the traders faced the loss and managed the number of losing trades per day. And the interesting statistic shows that the traders who had limited number of losing trades per day had much higher payouts. And based on this data, the traders who can keep their daily losing trades below the 4, they're getting about 72% of the payout disbursement. And I just showed you when your win rate is high, about 80%. If you have about 50 trades per day, you're going to encounter only two consecutive losses on average. So by managing the number of consecutive loss ahead of time and selecting the best quality trades, you can really manage your drawdown and the stress that is coming from that and be able to grow your equity curve smoothly. So in conclusion, we are very happy to see that what funded next published by looking at large number of data on studying over 17,000 traders and looking at the pattern of top traders were exactly those that we discovered over two decades of trading and training and design a trading system based on setup team mainly for novice traders that helped them to achieve all these nine factors mentioned here and become very consistent and get funded by prof firms. Thank you very much for your attention and hope this video is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and happy trading.